to our special Techno channel. In the previous session, we introduced the WFS transaction available in Joe Server. In this session, we will install Joe Server on Windows using the Web Archive installation method and upgrade to a new version while retaining existing data. For more information, watch the rest of this video. Joe Server is a versatile Java-based application that can be installed on various operating systems provided a compatible Java Virtual Machine or JVM is available. The latest versions of Joe Server have been tested with both Oracle JRE and OpenJDK. The GeoServer var file is a platform-independent web archive designed for deployment on application servers. We recommend using Apache Tomcat as the servlet container due to its excellent documentation and robust integration capabilities. This setup allows multiple web applications to run concurrently on a single server, enabling Joe Server to operate alongside other Java web applications and enhancing overall server versatility. In this session, we will guide you through the installation of Joe Server version 2.25.x utilizing Java 17 and Apache Tomcat 9. First of all, make a full backup of Joe Server folder before doing anything. Make a note of the extensions you have installed. The server status page has a modules tab that lists the installed modules. Uninstall the old Java and Apache Tomcat software. To download and install the JDK on a Windows machine, navigate to the adoption.net and click on the other platforms and versions option. In the drop down boxes that appear, choose these options. Select Windows from the operating system, x64 from the architecture option. Choose JDK for the package type and 17 LTS from the version option. Finally, click on the MSI file to start the download. After downloading, select the downloaded file and run it as an administrator. Accept the default settings and press the Install button. Once installed, you should see a window informing you that the installation was successful. Then press the Finish button. Now we have installed the JDK on the Windows OS. To download Apache Tomcat, navigate to the tomcat.apache.org, then click on the Tomcat 9 in the download section.
For the Windows installation package, scroll down and choose the 32-bit or 64-bit Windows service installer option. After it has been downloaded, right-click on the file and choose Run as Administrator. Use the next button to move through the installation wizard until you reach the configuration page. On this page, we will set up the configuration for Tomcat and the Windows service. You can leave the default ports as they are, otherwise enter the desired port. Enter username and password for the web administration page. Keep in mind that the security must be the first consideration. Ensure that the password is robust and try to avoid using common usernames like Tomcat, Admin, or Manager. Clicking Next will take you to the JVM page which should automatically select your installed Java. If it doesn't, you can manually browse to your JDK installation folder. Click Next to proceed to the page where you can specify the installation folder. A default is provided which is a combination of a default installation folder with the Windows service name appended. You can either accept the default or specify your own. Once the installation is complete, the final wizard page will give us the option to start Tomcat. Before we start the Tomcat service, we need to configure the memory setting that Tomcat will use for the JVM. So uncheck the Run Apache Tomcat box. To access the Tomcat service configuration dialog, navigate to the C, Program Files, Apache Software Foundation, Tomcat 9, Bing, and right-click on Tomcat 9w.exe. Select Run as Administrator. When the dialog opens, switch to the Java tab. Use this tab to set options such as Java Virtual Machine, Java Class Pass, Java Options, and Memory Configuration, which control how Tomcat starts the JVM. We will configure the memory settings to optimal defaults for a general purpose Java server installation. Set the initial memory pool to 512 megabyte. This parameter specifies the amount of heap memory located at the startup, helping to manage memory management. Set the maximum memory pool to 1024 MB. This parameter defines the maximum amount of heap memory that can be allocated at runtime. Once you have configured the Java options, you can continue to start the Tomcat service. Return to the General tab and set the startup type to automatic. Click the Start button to launch the service. Finally, click OK to confirm the change. If the service starts successfully, you can verify it by opening a web browser and navigate to the localhost colon 8080. Now you should see the Apache Tomcat web page. If you are enjoying the video, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel, like the videos and share it with your friends. This will help you and others to improve your skills and benefit from these valuable resources. Thank you for your support. To download the Joe Server software, visit the official Joe Server website at joeserver.org. From there, navigate to the download page and select the version you wish to obtain. For this tutorial, we will choose the latest version of Java Server, which is 2.25.3. On the download page, choose the Web Archive option. The download will automatically start after a few seconds. To deploy the Joe Server Web Archive, 
First unzip the download file, then copy the gelsever.dar file to the C, Program Files, Apache Software Foundation, Tomcat 9, Web Apps Directory. To run the show server software and access the web administration interface, open a browser or navigate to the localhost colon 8080 and press the Manager app button. Enter the username and password of Apache Tomcat. To start Geo server, press its Start button. After a few seconds, it will be ready for use. Now click on the Joe server link, then you will be directed to the Joe server web page. Navigate to the top right of the web interface to log into Joe server. The default administrative credentials or username is admin and password is Joe server. Again, click the About Show Server menu under the About and Status section. As you can see, the Joe Server version is 2.25.3. Operate the Joe Server version. To restore the backup file to the new version of Joe Server, navigate to localhost colon 8080 and click on the Manager app button again. Click the Stop button associated with the Joe Server software. Remove the data directory of the installed Joe Server from C, Program Files, Apache Software Foundation, Tomcat 9, Web Apps, Joe Server, and replace the same directory with the backup file. If you have installed any additional extensions in the previous version of Joe Server, be sure to reinstall them in the new version. Check the compatibility of these extensions with the updated version to ensure they work properly. Once you have completed all the necessary steps, start the Joe Server software from the Apache Tomcat web page. Remember to completely test your updated Joe server to ensure that all desired features and extensions work as expected. In this session, we installed Joe Server using Web Archive for servlet containers and upgraded to a new version. If you want to learn how to style different layers in Joe Server, we recommend you to watch the suggested playlist. Have a great time!